So I got to my cousin's house in Waterford and I experienced the biggest culture shock of my young life. So I said to my cousin, I said, I'd like to have a shower. <laughs> Which was a bit of a culture shock for him, I might add. <laughs> and he said, oh, you're gonna have to turn on the immersion. <laughs> I said, the immersion, what the fuck is that? Fucking Americans. I have to heat the water. I said, I have to heat the water myself? I just want to have a shower, for God's sake. I had a picture of myself on a bicycle making the water hot. Is it hot yet, man? Because I'm really sweating. I really need a shower. I got freaked out. It sounds like something that happens at the end of Batman and Robin. Will this be the end of Batman as he gets dipped slowly into the immersion? <laughs> Tune in next week when the water is actually hot enough for him to have a fucking shower. Because <laughs> in America, we just have hot water. It's just there. I don't know where we get it. We probably exploit it from some third world country, but it's just fucking there. So then I had my shower, my drip, drip, no power Irish shower. <laughs> Irish showers have such bad water pressure. I was doing a gig in New York recently, and this Irish guy came up to me after the gig, and he was like, Jesus, you're not joking. <laughs> the first time I had a shower in America, I thought there was gonna be horse in my body. <laughs> so I had my shower, and I was leaving the house about four hours later. <laughs> My cousin says, oh, did you turn off the immersion? And I thought, man, you gotta turn it off as well? There's less commitment in a relationship, for God's sake. So I said, no, I, I didn't turn it off. And he says, you forgot to turn off the immersion! Which was another total culture shock for me because I didn't even know what a press was at that stage, let alone a hot press. So it turns out in Ireland, a press is a cabinet. So you have a hot cabinet here. And I didn't know then, but I know now why you have a hot cabinet. It's because heat is so precious here, you're locked away in a closet. in this country is open a door in the room where the heat is on. Jesus, don't open that door! There's heat in there! That fucking heat is always trying to escape! He ran to the hot press. And he opened up the door and he says, No! by all <laughs> It was worse than just being broke. We could be halfway to Dublin from Waterford in the car and he'd be like, did you turn off the immersion? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we have to get home! It's gonna fucking blow! <laughs> they don't blow up, ladies and gentlemen. Hasn't anyone here heard of a thermostat, for God's sake? Immersions weren't put on this planet to terrorize you. I thought it was some secret IRA weapon or something, man. I was gonna turn on the news one day, it was gonna be like, another immersion went off in Guilford today. The minister went away for the weekend, the IRA snuck in, turned to the immersion and just fucked up. The minister came home, damage was minimal, but he's filing for bankruptcy. Oh, this just in, it was on bath as well. He's fucked. It's gonna blow! No, the hot 
hot water's gonna flow down the road and all the names are gonna get our hot water for fucking free! And away are the McDonald's doing their dishes, am I fucking hot water? And I, I, I'm doing that routine tonight, obviously, because, you know, we're filming and I, you know, it, is my, it is my favorite routine, but in general, I have stopped doing the immersion routine because too many people come up to me after the show and say, Really enjoyed the show, but like once you started talking about the immersion, I was thinking, oh, fuck, just leave the fucking. <laughs> so I had to stop. It was too dangerous. <laughs>